animations and transitions can make content easier to understand while creating movement within a course. You can add entrance, exit, and motion path animations to objects in your course. It's best practice to stick to the fade and wipe animations for a professional looking course. You can also control the duration of animation effects as well as the direction from which they enter the slide. Motion paths can be useful when you want objects to go from one place to another within the slide. There are basic, shapes, and freeform motion paths that you can use. You can also set the duration and give it a name. You have other path options available in four areas. Direction, Origin, Easing, and Path. The easing options provide further customization by hovering over the options. The starting position of the object is indicated by the green dot and the final destination of the motion path is indicated by the red dot. Let's adjust the starting position, or the green dot, above the slide. Then, we can adjust the red dot, or the final destination of our shape, just above our graphic. In this example, we would repeat this process for each additional shape. To have more control over the timing of animations, it's sometimes necessary to create a cue point on the timeline. Let's add a cue point and align our object to it. Right click on the timeline and select Create Cue Point at Playhead. You can drag the cue point to where you want your animation to be cued. Adjust the object on the timeline to start at the cue point. Using our motion path example, let's adjust our trigger. We only need to adjust when the action takes place. Let's select Timeline Reaches and then select At Cue Point. If you have multiple cue points, make sure to select the correct cue point for the trigger. Select OK. In this example, we repeated the same process of adjusting the objects to the cue point as well as adjusting all their triggers to occur when the timeline reaches the cue point. Let's preview our motion path example. You can also add transitions to slides and layers within your course. It's best practice to apply fade, uncover, and cover transitions to your slides or layers. You are also able to adjust the duration of the transition as well as choose from effect options for more effect controls. Now go to the practice file. In slide 7.1, add a fade transition and select apply to all. All the slides should now have fade transitions applied. Return to the video when you're done. Finally, you can add zoom region to a slide if you want to give your learner a closer look at something in your course. Zoom regions can only be added to the base layer of a slide. To add a zoom region, select Zoom Region from the Insert tab on the ribbon. The zoom region appears on your slide. You can adjust the size and position of the zoom region. Adjust the timing of the zoom region from your timeline. Then, preview the slide. Now it's your turn to continue building in your own project. Follow the Take Action instructions. Once you are finished with the assignment, continue on to the next module.